moving forward, I'm really focused on application, like to the max. I'm really focused on that. I'm really focused on coaching you guys, like for real, because inspiration just, it just isn't enough. And, and I'm never going to stop giving that. That's who I am, right? I'm never going to stop giving impact. I'm going to continue, but I want to just dive in deeper because when you guys say, Trent, like, but how, or I've tried this and I get it, I feel it, but I just don't know how to do this. You know, that bothers me, man. Like for real, that bothers me. And so I was like, I got to turn it up a notch. And this is a, I wouldn't say uncomfortable area, but it's a, it's new for me, right? It's new for me. I never really considered myself the coach, even though I was that for you guys. But I know in order to impact lives on a deeper level, I have to do this. And you guys have been asking me to do it. And so uh, I'm walking into my, un I'm walking out of my comfort zone. And I want this to be a testament to you guys that you have to walk outside your comfort zone in order to grow. You have to walk into your fear in order to grow. And a lot of us, we don't want to do that because we're afraid of failing. We're afraid of judgment. We're afraid of being embarrassed. All of these things. Like, who cares at the end of the day? Failure doesn't exist when you keep trying. Failure is, failure is, only, is only, uh, only happens when you quit. A person has to be coachable, and that's very true. And I know a lot of people are coachable. It means application, right? I can't, and y'all know this. I'll tell you that every time I get on here. I can't change your life. I've never changed the life. I haven't. I've inspired change. I've influenced change. But the people whose lives have been changed is because, you know, God used me to deliver a message, and they took responsibility over their life. And that's what I want people to get and understand is taking the ownership and the responsibility over your life. You know, I was just a kid in my room that just wanted to better his life. And I would have never thought I would be here being able to, you know, impact the world. I would never, I never have thought that. I didn't think that much about myself. I didn't think I had that gift inside me. You know, I didn't. But it's amazing when you realize the limitations that you put on yourself. And so I always walk into my uncomfort zone, as I like to call it. Because I know that I'm always putting limitations on myself because we're human. We do that. Even when you think that you're not, you still are. There's things that inside of you, there's things that you can do that you can't even imagine right now. And I'm a living witness to that. You know, most people are at this position in life where they allow life to lead them, right? They, they accept what life gives them. They accept what the day gives them. The day gives them BS. They accept it. The day gives them positivity. They accept it. But when you take control, I'm not going to say take control over your life, but when you are more intentional, because it's hard to control your life, you can try, you know, but the world is so out of control. You know, sometimes controlling your life is a bad thing, to be honest with you. But when you become more intentional about your life, you will start to see things change in your life. You'll start to see a sense of peace. Like, I would ask you, how do you wake up every single day? That'll tell you if you're intentional with your life. And you want to get to a place where you're leading life, right? You're not, al you're not allowing life to lead you. You're leading life. You're waking up on fire. You're waking up with intention. You're waking up with passion. And you set the tone for your day. You don't allow life to set the tone for your day. So the first thing you do when you wake up, which a lot of us do it, I'm guilty of it at times, is you grab your phone, right? You're allowing your phone to set the tone for your day. But the first thing you do is get into your routine. This is one of my, my uh, formulas for myself that helps when I wake up every single day. Um, I try, well, let me, let, me be, let me be super transparent. I try to do it every single day. There's certain days where I don't, and I feel that, right? I'm not a perfect human being. Nobody is understand that. But I try my best to to live um, the life that I speak about. I start my day off with accomplishment because accomplishment puts dopamine, right? Releases dopamine in your life, right? It releases dopamine. Look up that if you don't know what that means. But accomplishment is very key. Maybe it's making up your bed. For me, Sometimes it's folding clothes, washing dishes, going to take the trash out. Nothing too crazy. Sometimes it's working out, right? So I make sure I have an accomplishment. I make sure I have an appreciation. So that could be 
my moment of gratitude, that could be thanking God just for anything. That could be hugging my wife, hugging my babies, um, any of that. Appreciation is very key to your life and to your emotional and mental health. Very key. But I love setting the tone for my day. Uh, my, my routine is pretty simple. I go to the gym. After the gym, come home, uh, spend time with my family for a little bit. Then I go to work for you guys. Stay up there about four or five hours. Then I come back home. And so that's my day. I'm very intentional with my day, with my life. And if you're not intentional, that means you're allowing life to guide you. You might say, well, Trent, I don't have the the means to be intentional. You know, I work a nine to five. I, you know, have this responsibility and that. And all those things might be true, but you still can be intentional in some part of your life. Even if it, like I said, even if it's just waking up with appreciation, like start your day off with intention. Set the tone for your day because how you start your day will influence your day.